on IMESG, also known as Leap Search Gaming. Sorry, my um camera's a little off center, but that's fine. Anyways, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to solve Eaton's three x three twist cube. Just a disclaimer before we get into the video, you need to know how to solve um the Rubik's cube. My, you know, one of these things or one of these things, but. Um, if you don't know, check out my tutorial, which I will have a link in the description for. But with that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so basically, to start off the tutorial, you need to have, um, a twist cube. And what you want to do next is you want to find the white side, which happens to be on the top here. And what you want to do then is you want to align the centers. What I mean by that is you want to put on this one, you want to put the orange on the top. Are the red on the top but then you want to check to make sure what color is going to be going up here you can look over at this one if there's blue then that means the blue is the top if there was red then that means red is the top but it's blue so we are going to be switching the blue like that turning it over and then make sure that it looks correct like it would flow in and then do that to all of the middles Now, once you get that done, guys, it should look like this to where all of them look like they're flowing into each other just like that. It's that simple, guys. Then what you want to do is you want to find the edge pieces, the white edge pieces that go with them. There's the orange, so we can just twist that to the orange side and make sure it's flowing and it's flush and it's just perfect like that. You wanna find another one? Here we have the red, so the red needs to go here. So what we can do for this is we can just do that down, and move it that way, and then move the side back up like that. And then that saves this side, but it also gets this on the bottom and you just want to, so the red side's right here so then you just want to s turn that side up so that I uh, down all the way, and then you can uh, no not no not upside down. You want to turn it that way, and then you can turn it up like that, and then turn that back side back down like that. And this side should be flush. It should be perfect like that. Same thing with this side, it should still be perfect. And then we can find the blue, which is right here. So we can just like turn it this left side up, turn the front that way, put it back down, and then up. Or the front side up. And it will be just like that. So where these are perfectly, they flow right into each other. They flow right into each other. Flow right into each other. So then we gotta find the last one, which is right there. Instead of just trying to do something like that, we can just turn it all the way upside down, 180 degrees. And then we can turn it like that, get it to the bottom, and then flip it up. Now, kinda like with the Rubik's Cube in the solving, then once that is done, you will have the cross also with these in play. Then you can just solve the corners exactly like a normal Rubik's Cube. So uh, you can just see me going in there. Um, I'm just solving it exactly like a normal Rubik's Cube. The corners. And it's so simple. This cube, it looks hard, but it's not. I am using the beginner's method. Then you want to solve the middle layer like you would on a normal cube. And this is one of the easiest parts on this puzzle. Because all you got to do is you got to solve it like a normal cube. And it's it's that simple. Ugh. Sorry for the bad camera angle. Sometimes I just need to get a, get a good look at it. Okay, so 
this would be the last step, and then the middle layer is done. Oh, nope, no, nope. got to do one more. And then the last layer. Okay. So once you get the middle layer done, you're going to have the dot, the L, the line or the cross but I'm just going to show you an, a case you might have it's gonna uh, and I will show you that now look at my hand okay so this is the case where this is something you won't have on a Rubik's cube to where there's the line and then a dot right there that case will be the same if there is a arrow like that and then there's like a dot up there, something like that, something like that, and if there's a dot and there's somewhere like that right there, then this was what you're gonna do. You're gonna hold it like this, and you're gonna do this set of moves. You're gonna do up, up, twice, down, down, twice, up, up, twice. Down, down, twice. Um, uh, sorry about this. Up, up, twice, down, down. And then you'll have these two that are swapped. You just want to take one of them out. How you would take one out. In the beginner's method, you just take one of them out, and then you'll find that one, which is right there, and you'll put it in where it needs to go. Then you'll find the other one, and put that one where it needs to go. And as you can see, it has solved the case, and it is now done, so then we can just solve the rest of the cube like you would a normal cube. So, here, one second. Sorry, just needed to get a better angle that you can see. So then what you want to do is just to continue on, what the heck did I just do? So continue on solving, then you'll get the cross obviously, and then you can just solve the last corners like you would normally. the heck? Hmm. You just get these ones right. think it just might be like a problem. Um, I know what it is. Because we forgot a step. We forgot the orientating step. Okay, let me do that step really quick. Okay, now don't let my mistake go messing you up because you just solve it like no matter what I do, solve it like a normal 3x3, um, three three, how you would solve. That three by three, that's all you have to do. It's as simple as that. That's basically what the whole puzzle is. It's just solving a Rubik's Cube with a twist. Pun intended. Okay, now I got this last one. Okay, 
am almost done. Solving it just like a Rubik's Cube. That simple. It's all you gotta do. This is the last step, as you guys know. And there you have it. Eaton's Twist Cube. How to solve it. It is done. Uh, stay tuned my video where I'll do a review on all of the puzzles I have. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that and that. So stay tuned for those. This is it solved and I'll see you guys in the next one.